What's up guys, this is Bennett with The Worship Resource. We're bringing y'all another video this week. We have been getting a ton of questions about just the gear we use, the guitars, the amps, the pedals. So we are gonna start a little series where all the members of The Worship Resource is gonna break down their rig and just walk you guys through everything that we have. So if y'all enjoy it, please subscribe to the channel. We appreciate all the support that we have gotten so far. Let's jump in. So for the guitar that I'm using, I have one electric. It is this 2016 TMG uh, Ronnie Scott. I actually bought this off of Sam uh, a few months ago, um, and I have loved it. It has a TMG P90 pickup in the neck and then a TMG PAF pickup in the bridge. Um, for the amps that we're using, I use good cells. I'm running stereo good cells, one as a clean amp and one as a dirtier amp. They are phenomenal 17 watt amps built right out of Atlanta, Georgia. Um, they're great and I've loved, uh, I've loved using them. Um, so for the pedals, um, as you can see, this is my board right here. It's pretty simple. Um, I actually made this board, uh, by myself in my workshop. And uh, if y'all wanna learn how to make a flat pedal board, let us know and we'll do a video showing you how to do it. Um, but I made this board and um, I'm still kind of figuring out what I like, what I don't like, but right now this has been working for me. Um, to walk you guys through my, uh, through my chain, I go straight into my Boss TU3 tuner. Um, and to reference the uh, past pedal board video, if you did watch that, um, I might've said that I stole or borrowed a tuner or this tuner from my church. I have now returned that and bought my own um, and all is right in the world now. So out of my tuner, I go into a new pedal that I have on my board, um, the Jackson Audio Bloom. This is a three in one uh, pedal. It has compression, EQ and a boost in it. Um, so I'll just show you all my clean tone then show you what it sounds like uh, with all three of those. This is my clean tone. So for the compression I use, there's actually like seven settings you can uh, you can choose from for compression. Um, I uh, I like my compression on the lighter side, so I'm using one with uh, a quick attack and um, just really light compression. So this is what it sounds like with the compressor on. Now to that, I'll go into the EQ, and for my EQ, I'm just taking out a little bit of the low end. I'm adding a little bit of mids and taking out some of the top end, and so this is what that sounds like. The last part of this pedal is just a boost. All that does is just raise the volume. It doesn't add any color or flavor. Um, it just simply adds um, more volume to my signal. Then out of that, I go into a Dunlop volume pedal. Nothing special about it. Um, it, it does what I need it to do. And then I go into my drive section. So I have three drives right now. For my first stage, I have a JHS Morning Glory. Um, I love the flavor and the top end that it adds to my signal, so I'll show you guys um, just what that sounds like. This is without. Uh, I love that pedal. Um, I leave that on most of the time, but um, sometimes I'm doing cleaner stuff. I'll, I'll have all my drives off. Um, out of that, I go into my Paul Cochran Timmy. This is a transparent overdrive. Um, probably one of my favorite pedals on the board. It doesn't add any color or flavor. It just adds more grit to my signal. So I'll show you guys what that sounds like. Like I said, love that pedal and the color's amazing. Um, out of that, I go into another new pedal on my board, which is the Benson preamp. Um, right now, I'm running this thing as a fuzz. It can get super, super gritty and just 
you can add so much gain to the saying and it sounds incredible. Um, I think I like it here. I've played around just using it as a preamp, but right now I'm sticking, uh, sticking, uh, sticking it with a fuzz. So um, I'll show you guys what that sounds like. I'll add some delay to it too. As you can hear, that thing sounds amazing. So that is all my drives right now. Um, I really like them and yeah, that's it for that. So into my next section is gonna be delay. I just have one delay pedal. It is the Diamond Memory Lane Junior. Um, and this pedal is awesome. Um, I pretty much just run it as a dotted eighth and I'll just show you guys what that sounds like. So yeah, like I said, it pretty much stays on a dotted eighth uh, delay. And then another cool thing with this pedal is that it has a modulation wheel. And I'll just turn that up and show you guys what it sounds like. It just adds a lot of texture and a lot of um, cool modulation to it. So this is what it sounds like. This is with no reverb or anything, just the delay. As you can tell, that just sounds gorgeous. Um, I love playing with that if I'm doing a lot of ambient stuff. Um, but that's my delay. And then out of that, I go into my last two pedals, which are both reverb pedals. As you all know, the Strymon Big Sky, it's phenomenal. It has so many different reverbs. Um, I pretty much only use two. Um, I have one plate reverb. This is what that sounds like. And then I have two settings for the cloud reverb. Um, I have one lighter one, which I'll typically use that for more rhythm stuff. And then I have a heavier one that is super washed out. Yeah, really heavy. And then out of that, I go into my RV6, which I only use for swells. Um, so I'll click that on and typically pair it with, um, with one of the uh, reverbs in the Big Sky. So I'll show you what that sounds like with a few swells. I love the tones that I can get out of, uh, out of that pedal, and I only use that for swells, like I said. And that is pretty much, um, that's pretty much my rig. I, I try to keep it simple. Um, if y'all enjoyed the video, please subscribe. If you have any questions about anything, put it down in the comments, and we'll be more than happy to answer it. We love you guys. We'll see y'all next time.